U.S. South Florida has been waiting all week for this one. Get ready, folks. The opening kickoff is finally here. He's to the 20, makes it to the 22-yard line. Now the offense gets ready to take their first crack at it. the 42. Good job here by the receiver to look the ball in and ensure he had possession. That's the right way to catch a pass. First and 10. Ball on their own 42. can't get away from the pressure. He just blew past the blockers and dragged the quarterback down. Boy, excellent play by the defense here. A few extra seconds, and those receivers might have been open. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Here's the halfback on the screen. He's pushed out of bounds at the 44. The defense saw a clear path to the quarterback and got a little too wide-eyed there. They need to watch the over-pursuit and play with more discipline. They go to the back, and he's hit immediately in the backfield. That'll bring up second and 11. It's second and 11. Ball on the 45. He's coming. Check him. Check him. Green nine. Green nine. Today. Green eight. Steps out of bounds at the 42 yard line. That's a Third down. Mike 34. Mike 34. Scoop, scoop, scoop. Dog four. X seven. Shut that motion down. Deep ball, laying it out there. Number seven, the intended receiver. Fourth down. They call on the kicker for a long field goal. Alabama is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and he splits the uprights. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. The Bulls have shown over the course of the season that they want to get this guy the football, but you can't just go to him every play. Well, on the road, you especially want to take the crowd out of the game, and the one guy you know who can do it is this wide receiver. The problem you have is this defense, more often than not, is going to be aligned to take him out of the game. And that, to your point, Brad, that's where somebody's going to have to step up, whether it's the running game, some of the other receivers. You're going to have to take some of the pressure off of him and really make it a team effort to be able to win this game on the road. Tries to get around the corner. He gets hit out of bounds at the 43-yard line. And he has a huge run. I'll tell you right now, this guy is arguably one of the fastest players in college football today. There you see him turn it upfield with such fluidity and quickness. Set! Green and Quick pass tight end, and he wasn't ready for it. So it's second and 10. Ball on the 43. Tackle made 
at the 46-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. You won't break or bend this linebacker. He won't miss that tackle too often. The crowd really making it difficult. Fires out to his wideout. He's taken down at the 45. From the 45-yard line, first down. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33, 33. Set, line 80. The running back gets a yard, maybe less. No game. That makes it second and ten. He's at the 30. It's a nice job here by the wide receiver of looking the ball in and keeping the chains moving. He was on the same page as his quarterback as they both saw the double outside linebacker blitz coming. First and 10. Ball on the 27. Mike check, 33. 33. Red he makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. A one-yard gain by the halfback. That yeah, was a short gain, but a nice tackle there by the senior corner who came in from the outside and made a nice play. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Tight right, tight right. Two down, two down. Two down, two down. He fights forward to about the 26. down now and they need to get it to the 17. The crowd at this stadium always a factor in a football game. He launches one for the end zone and it's picked off. Good job to pick that ball off. He did a great job at getting in that passing lane and coming away with the ball. Alabama has a three-point lead. He's out of bounds at the 23. From their own 23-yard line, it's second down. Offense lines up in a five-wide set in the defense, anticipating pass here. Wide open. Oh, he dropped it. Was the intended receiver on the play. That makes it 37. Hey, check Mike 34. Mike 34. Red 2. Green 9. Go. He goes out of bounds at the 26. That's good for a three yards. That makes it fourth and four. And this one is a beauty. Oh, he got nailed on that one. Alabama's defense got the stop they wanted on that first drive. Now let's see if they can do it again. And just listen to this crowd, Brad. I mean, you can practically feel the energy coming down from the crowd and how it's impacting these players. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. And I don't think this defense will lay down lightly. They're going to try to continue to rally hey. this guy. He just gets rid of it. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. From their own 32-yard line. Second down. He's knocked out of bounds around the 42-yard line. Number 10, the intended receiver. First down. We played one quarter. The Crimson Tide in front, 3-0. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. Three down, three down. Mark check, 33. 33. 
That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. From their own 39-yard line, second down. He's going to try and scramble. Decides to tuck it in, and he's got space. He'll bring him down right around the 42-yard line. The quarterback scramble gains three yards. Here, the receiver needs to do a better job of holding his block on the corner, or there's no place for the ball carrier to go. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. These fans are showing you why teams hate to come here, folks. Slings it. And he's taken down at the 13. Number six is the center of the 13 yard line. First down. Now it's first and 10 with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass. They come out in a goal line set. And he tackles him hard at the 11. Game of two yards. That makes it second and eight. Right and left, right and left. Three down, three down. Hard check, 33. 33. Ready. Cut. And he just gets rid of it. You know, when you feel pressure like that, the worst thing you want to do is just to throw the ball into coverage. He got away with one right there. He's very fortunate. Next time, he should just throw it away out of bounds. And so it's another third down upcoming here. He scrambled. Tackle at the one-yard line. It's the ninth play of the drive. That makes it first and goal. They line up in the jumbo set. Loss of two on the run by the halfback. Second down, goal to go. Three yards for the touchdown. Here's a pitch, left side. Touchdown, Bulls! He hits the PAT. A 10 play, 66 yard drive, and it's good for seven points. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And they can forget about returning this one. Momentum swings have been fairly even, and with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he shoved out of bounds at the 35-yard line. It's first and 10. Ball on their own 35. If these defenders continue to exploit the O-line like that, it's going to be a long day for this running back. That brings up second and 13. Two, I got two. On the delay. He's to the 40. Out of bounds at the 43. It's third down, and they're about two yards shy of the sticks. like a shot. This guy has some big time speed. Pulls down the catch and he's got room here. And he's tackled at the 40 yard line. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. That'll bring up second and three. run up the middle. Get 
gets out to around the 25. You like to see a team having success like this running the football. It can really open up things for the offense. From the 25-yard line, first down. Caught, and he's hit immediately. That makes it second and eight. Alabama just took their first time out. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Red two, X seven. And they make the stop at the 15 yard line. And here's another third down. The five. Brought down right around the two-yard line. You know, Brad, that's the second third down that they've been able to convert on this drive. And this offense right now has really showed a lot of poise to be able to hold on to the football and try to maintain this drive. And down he goes at the two-yard line. No gain on the play. Brings in second and goal. He's scrambling, keeps it, and he's got a touchdown. <laughs> Trying to go up by three, they'll kick the extra point. He splits the uprights with the extra point. So a 12-play, 75-yard drive, and they add seven points to the scoreboard. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Right now, this game's got all the makings of maybe being a nail biter. Yeah, this game just feels like it's going to go well into the second half, probably into the fourth quarter. You almost have a feel that maybe one of the defenses may have to score a touchdown to be able to win this game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Fires out to his receiver. He's tackled around the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Nice pickup as they connect on the pass play. Well, they look to be in sync right now. They're both reading the defense properly, and the result is a nice game. Makes the grab past the marker, and he's level at the 41. So the pass is complete for an eight-yard gain and a first down. It's the protection up front that allowed this play to happen. The line controlled the rush, and it gave the quarterback an opportunity to deliver a very nice throw. On the throw, incomplete pass. You can't blame him for not hanging on to that pass. He got hit pretty hard. That makes it second and 10. Second and 10. Ball on the 41-yard line. Mike check, 33. 33. And he's tackled right away. Gets it that quickly. Good job to identify the weakness in this defense. Any good offense will exploit those holes over and over again. Great pressure on the quarterback forced that incompletion. Boy, they really pounded him on that throw. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 35-yard line. Let's go, defense. Let's get out the hook. He gets rid of this one. Sets him up nicely with a first and goal. That makes it first and goal. Ready! Green 88! Green 88! Scrambling around. And they get the sack. Boy, this pass rush is sometimes scary. They're really getting after the quarterback now. This is the ninth play of this drive. He gets it up, and it is good. We've played a half and a 10-10 tie in this game.
Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 Halftime Show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. These two defenses so far, they've been everything they've been advertised to be. They've stopped the run. They've limited the passing game. They apply pressure at the right times. It's going to be hard to find holes to move the ball at all in the second half. Yeah, and sometimes it's really bad offense. And sometimes you can also look at those holes and they come open and all of a sudden they close really fast. And, and that's what you're seeing. A lot of guys that are really athletic, really fast. They know where to be. A lot of guys that you'll be seeing playing on Sundays. I mean, it's just a lot of talent to overcome and you got to be in the right position but then you got to beat those great players that are also in the right position so I, I expect more of the same but you know which team can break through and make a huge play to, to take the other one you know off guard a little bit and make that big play that's it for us here in the studio what are you going to do in the second half while the game's going on yeah i'm gonna kick back and watch all these monitors we'll keep you up to date on everything going on around the country right now time for the second half with brad and kirk Well, we welcome Number you back seven. to the action. Just about set to start the second half in a tie ball game. He just drills this one. Well, this is a competitive game. It's fun to watch these two teams go back and forth. Just when you think one team has the edge, the other gets right back into it. This is exciting. I think it says something about the quality of the preparation of both teams that we're into the third quarter and nobody's been able to pull away. Both sides seem to know what to expect. Throws this one away. It's second and ten. Ball on their own 25. Gets it off as he's hit. Complete. When you can move the ball downfield in big chunks like that, you've got the defense right where you want it. From their own 45-yard line, first down. Set, green 88, green 88. Pressured and brought down. The protection broke down. The defense was in the backfield in a hurry, and they brought the quarterback down. Nice play. They find themselves in a hole here after that sack. It's second and long. Let's go! Motion, Green motion, 19! Motion. Green pop, 19! Pop, 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 pop. Steps out of bounds at the 42. The crowd really making it difficult. And he's sacked. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. Fourth and long here after the sack. He took him down hard. A lot of times you'll see teams start to clinch up a little bit when games stay close well into the second half. You need to stay loose, keep doing what you've been doing all week in practice, and execute when it's time. Throws it, and oh, he dropped it. Boy, Brad, this guy drops an interception. What's ironic about that from going to the meetings the other day is that this guy's been telling the coaches he wants to play some wide receiver. You wonder why you're not playing wide receiver? Because you can't catch the ball as a defensive back. Quick pass. He's taken down right around the 30. Third and 10 coming up. Ball on their own 30. Fires out quickly to the tailback. 
And they push him out the 37 yard line. That's good for a gain of seven yards. That brings up fourth and three. It's away, and it's a booming punt. Little too much leg into that punt. They'll bring it out to the 20. Now's when you start to approach each drive, thinking that if you take the lead, then the momentum you gain feels that much more powerful. Tries to fit it in there, and it'll be intercepted. Tackle made around the 13-yard line. That was perfect coverage against a pretty good route. He was all over that pass. First and 10. Ball on the 13. Pass complete and taken down immediately. That'll make it second and four. So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Black five, black five, go! Now he's flushed, and they got it. I think that one's on the offensive line. They've got to do a better job of holding their blocks, or else this quarterback's going to be pulling turf out of his face mask all game. They're going to go for the easy three here. Alabama is looking to go up by three. The kick is up, and he's got it. And you got to think they're pretty happy with holding him to a field goal right there. And it looks like they're ready for the kickoff. Sends it sailing downfield. And it sails out of the end zone for a touchback. Alabama's continuing to play extremely tough defense. This has been impressive. It's just been impressive to watch them play with such an attitude, almost a chip on their shoulder with the energy that they're playing with. And I think it's going to require that kind of effort to be able to win this game. You know the offense will be looking to do better this time out. One general rule in any game is to hold on to the ball. If you're in the negative in the turnover department, your chances of winning decrease exponentially. Second, and Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Three down, three down. Hey, check Ready. And he makes it out to about the 34-yard line. That's a gain of two on the ball. That'll make the third and one. And this crowd is going absolutely crazy. Makes the first down catch. They'll bring him down around the 41-yard line. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 41. Three down, three down. Hey, check back 33. Ready, right up. Throws it in a hurry. And he's taken down at about the 49. Number 32 makes the tackle at the 49-yard line. That makes it second and two. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. Three down, three down. Mike, check, 33, 33. Let's go! He scrambled. Well, the defense has to be very frustrated there. They did everything. They got to the quarterback. In fact, it looked like they had a chance to bring him down for the sack. Somehow, he's able to throw the ball away. The intimidation factor is definitely here when you're playing in this stadium. They run it for the first, and he stops. That makes it fourth and four. Cool. 
Here's the punt. No, they're going to throw it. Oh, he had the pick, and he dropped it. Football will change hands as they fail to convert on fourth down. The offense ready to go again, and their last drive ended with three points. Alabama has a three-point lead. Tackle at the 45. Call it again at two yards. That makes it second and eight. It's second and eight. Ball on the 45-yard line. Well, Mike, Mike 34, Mike 34. Dog four, green 15. Hit, go! And he just gets rid of it. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush, and that time it paid off with an incompletion. Watch two, watch two. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. Go ahead, two. Got a man, watch out here. Good tackle there in space. First and 10, ball on the 29. Zips it to the tight end. Knocked out of bounds at the 19-yard line. So at the end of three, Alabama leads it 13-10. Welcome back to the action here as we resume play here in quarter number four. 34 is the mic. 34 is the mic. He's coming. Dog four. Did I And he throws it away. Brad, I just think this quarterback's got to do a much better job of being able to read that defense and make quicker decisions. And especially when the defense starts to get pressure, you've got to either get rid of that football or check it down or take off and run with it. And he's tackled around the 14-yard line. And a quick throw. Pretty nice pickup here. These guys are getting very tight on their timing. And once again, they'll come to the line trying to convert on third down. Alabama is up by three. Throws quickly and it's almost intercepted. Hey, that's a heads up play there by the defender. Get those hands up and something good may just happen. Kicks away and he got it. Looks like they're ready for the kick. And he got all of this one. Great kick. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Things aren't tied, but they might as well be. It's this drive that could really dictate the tone for the last quarter. He airs it out. Incomplete. Well, that was clearly a poor read on somebody's part. And the bad news is there was no defender around. If the pass was anywhere near him, it could have gone for a big play. Second down and 10 to go. Ball on the 25-yard line. Moves up, and the defense has got it. The sack makes this a fourth and very long.
He punts it away, and it's a great kick. He makes it out to midfield. Well, I can say this much, Kirk, at least it's tight in the fourth quarter. Well, it is a close game, and neither team has been able to get anything going, whether it's running the football or throwing, and look up at the scoreboard, and at least, as you said, Brad, it's a close game. Who can make a play late to win it? A score here might effectively end this one. Alabama is up by six. He fights forward to about the 49. Gain of one yard. That brings up second and nine. From the 49 yard line, it's second down. play here just a smartly run route good protection and a well-placed ball most times you don't need much more than that black five, black five. we've got a first and ten Three, ball in the 34 tries to buy some time brought down around the 26 yard line about eight yards there on the scramble they need about three yards to get the first here on second down just under two minutes in the game ball is loose fumble it's picked up by the defense about that last turnover, Kirk. Way to be heads up out there. That corner just made one heck of a play recovering that fumble. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Set! 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 Lucky 95! Lucky 95! Come on! Come on! Now he's scrambling. He's out to the 30. And down he goes at the 36 yard line. He's scrambling. And they make the stop at the 49. That's a game of 15 on the play. That, that makes, makes it first, it first and ten. ten. It's first and ten. Ball on the 49-yard line. That's a great tackle at the 47. But he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. Throw incomplete, one of his receiver. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 39. Becoming the 12th man, the crowd is always into it here. It's intercepted! 
intercepted, and that should do. And that is an absolutely huge turnover for this defense. They couldn't have picked that off at a better time. Just a horrible decision by the quarterback trying to force that pass, especially at this point in the game. Under a minute left. He's tackled at about the 41. Anytime this guy carries the ball and gets a little space, we could be talking about six. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 41. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. The Bulls using their third and final timeout. Favorite play in football of your quarterback. Take a knee. there here late in the fourth quarter in a game this tight. That might be one we look back on later and say, that won the ball game. The Bulls, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan, get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. And next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. Thanks for joining us for another game of NCAA Football 14. For Kirk and everyone here at EA Sports, Brad Nussler saying goodbye, and we'll see you next time.